Hello, and welcome to Under 1000. My name's Thomas Flower, and each episode I'll read you a piece of super short fiction. All of the stories are 1000 words or less. Today, I'll be reading A Visitor from the Past. Please be aware that this episode contains strong language, so if that's likely to upset you or anyone that you're listening with, then you might want to skip this one. They met in the station. George was taking the train back to the city for a few days, and they had both agreed that this was as good an excuse to meet up as any other. Are you sure you don't want to stay at my place? Jai had asked, trying to drop the question casually when they were discussing plans earlier in the week. No, George had replied, a little too quickly. It's fine. I've got somewhere booked already anyway. Just come meet me and let's go for a drink and a bite to eat or something. And so, come the following Friday evening, there they were, finally seeing each other again for the first time in years. As the large crowd dispersed from the platform and headed through the station out into the city, Jai turned to George to ask, So, what would you like to do first? I'm pretty tired. Let's go somewhere quiet and catch up, George offered by way of a plan. They wandered through the streets making slightly stilted and awkward small talk until they reached a favourite old dive. Neither had been here for at least a few years now, and yet both of them agreed it was a treasured hidden gem of the city. They were dismayed, therefore, to find it packed out like any other bar on a Friday night. It's okay, Jai commented as they approached the entrance. There are some tables out here. The street's not too busy, so we can sit and chat easily, and it's a nice enough night. Look, you grab those free seats over there and I'll go order for us. Responding with thanks and drink requests, George wound his way over to the available table, collapsing back into the chair to wait. After a considerable delay, Jai reappeared, carrying two tall, ice-cold glasses with him. After placing them down on the table and relaxing back into his seat, he struck up the conversation again, determined this time to delve a little more deeply. So, he began, how have things been with you? Still single, or anyone new in your life? The question hung slightly uncomfortably in the air, neither of them quite wanting to acknowledge what it might imply. Not really, George replied eventually. I was seeing someone for a bit, but then we broke up. We kept hanging out, but it just felt bad to me. I couldn't take it, really. One day I just ended up blocking him on everything. I guess that was a shitty thing to do, but... He trailed off, unable to find an excuse. Jai nodded, trying to suggest that he understood, though internally he considered it highly inconsiderate and melodramatic. Pressing on, he asked, How are things with your painting? Did you ever find any luck with it? I'm trying... George responded, a slightly sad look in his eyes. But I'm not really getting anywhere with it. Nobody where I am is that interested. I guess if I was prepared to move to London or somewhere like that, I might have more luck with it. But I don't want to uproot my life. I wish I could pay the bills with painting, for sure, but I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. Jai leaned over to pat his friend on the shoulder, unsure if this was the right thing to do. Still struggling to unearth some piece of good news, he asked. What about the job, then? You've been doing it a while now, right? Are you enjoying it? To be totally honest, no, not much, came the dour response once again. It gives me plenty of money to live well and all that, but it's not really something I take much pleasure out of. Like I said, I'd rather be working in something artistic, but I've got to stick to the daily grind for now unless I want to make some pretty serious changes to my life. The two of them fell silent again. Jai was unsure how to proceed, given how downbeat the responses to all his lines of questioning had been so far. He wanted to comfort George, to tell him that he had his support and that things would turn out fine, but he knew that wasn't his place anymore. So instead they sat in silence, sipping their drinks and watching the city pass by them. The longer he sat there, the more Jai wondered what he'd even wanted out of tonight. Perhaps he shouldn't have agreed to meet at all. Perhaps instead he should have made his excuses and left their history together as simply his own fond memories of the love they'd once shared. 
Still, it wasn't George's fault exactly. In truth, he hadn't changed that much at all. No, instead it was Jai who'd moved on and become so different, leaving him now to wonder what he saw in this sad and self-absorbed man at the time. Could the last three years really have changed his feelings that much? It seemed like such a strange idea to him, that he could have been so deeply in love with someone so clearly wrong for him, and yet the truth was sitting there, staring him silently in the face and sipping on a craft ale. Eventually, before it became unbearably tortuous, Jai broke the silence. Hey, I've got to be up early tomorrow, so I'm probably going to head home soon. I can point you in the direction of somewhere good to eat before I go, though. No, that's okay. George replied. Well, look, it was nice seeing you again. Stay in touch and let me know how the visit is, okay? Jai offered hopefully, trying to leave things as positively as he could. I will, George said, both of them knowing that this false promise would be the last words they exchanged with each other. Thank you for listening to Under 1000. I'm your host, Thomas Flower. To follow the show online, look for Under 1000 Pod on Twitter or Facebook. If you'd like to support the show on Patreon, go to patreon.com slash under 1000 pod, where you can sign up for bonus content and a thank you to be read during these credits. The theme music is an instrumental version of In Between Days by Nick Tate and the Sharks. To hear the full song and more from the same EP, go to Nick Tate, N I C T A T E and the sharks.bandcamp.com or search for them on your favorite streaming platform. I hope you enjoyed this episode and that you'll join me again next time for some more super short fiction.